We're now getting into the final part of the installation process prior to decorating. One of the most important parts of the entire project is the stopping and finishing. It'll give you a wall that look you're really after. Stopping is an acquired skill normally carried out by skilled tradespeople. However, if you rate your skills and are prepared to purchase some specialist tools, here are some tips to help get you started. We'll need a pail of Jib Plus 4 stopping compound and a roll of Jib paper jointing tape. To apply these, we'll also need a couple of chamfered broad knives, one at 75mm and a second at 100mm, as well as a 150mm broad knife. We'll also need a trowel and a corner trowel. The first part of the job is stopping the horizontal joints where the two tapered edges of our sheets meet. The tapers provide a hollow in which to apply the tape and stopping compound. Using the 150mm broad knife, you fill this recess with jointing compound before pushing a length of paper tape in place along the joint and pressing it into the compound with your broad knife. By holding the broad knife at about 45 degrees and drawing it along the joint, you'll be able to remove any air bubbles below the tape. If you find there's an area where the tape won't stick to the compound, simply lift the edge of it with your broad knife, apply some more compound, then press it back into the surface. Once this is done, you need to immediately apply a second thin layer of compound along the surface of the tape before letting it dry. At this point we need to follow a similar procedure for the internal corners. Working up the plaster on the trowel before we start ensures a nice creamy consistency, making it far easier to work with. Using the 75mm broad knife, apply a layer of compound to the corner. Fold and press the paper tape into the joint with the broad knife. And then follow that with a thin layer of compound along the paper tape surface before waiting for it to dry. When you finish each stage of the job, clean off your tools because clean tools are always going to create a much better finish. When the compound has dried, scrape off any excess, then apply a second coat with a trowel. Make sure this extends outside the area of the first coat and feather the edges to eliminate any buildup of the compound. Extend the same process to the corners before allowing the compound to dry for at least 24 hours. Use the trowel to apply the finishing coat, feathering the edges at least 50mm beyond the edge of the previous coat. When working on the internal corners, you'll find a corner trowel a much easier option for applying your finishing coat before feathering off with a 100mm broad knife. You'll then need to wait at least 24 hours for the compound to dry before sanding.